Welcome back to Intibles, everyone. So I'm going to go up with you guys in the S&P 500. Again, this is the SPY. We are bouncing off lows of the year. Multiple times we have been bouncing almost off of lows of the year. What exactly has to happen for us to continue on lower into newer lows? And what exactly would have to happen for us to bounce back here? I'm going to go over the bullish and bearish case here. What exactly would have to happen? What are we looking for here? Now, before I jump into this, if you guys can do me a huge favor, smash that like button. If you find this video useful at all, hit subscribe if you want to see my daily plan on exactly how I plan on playing into the SPY every single day day and if you guys are day traders or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mention every single day in the instables room go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the SPY again, our highs of the week has been about here at 370. We did jump just above it today at 372. Our question is, are we going to continue on with this bounce? In my opinion, we are only on a small bounce here until we do get divergence with this bounce that we are not on a stronger bounce. And what I mean by divergence, as you guys can see here on the RSI, we did jump out of oversold territory. We did have that strength to the upside today. However, we have not got divergence. What I mean by that is that we have not came lower. We have not created higher lows as we are oversold so in my opinion we still need to create higher lows as we are oversold to get again that momentum to the upside to get that shift in momentum and again if we do not get those higher lows then we are not pivoting from that strength that we have to the downside so again we still need to make sure we are pivoting and getting that strength and again getting that confirmation jumping out of oversold territory is extremely key here as you guys can see here we do have a momentum candle to the upside but we do not have an engulfing candle with our full body covering our prior day's body so we do not have that strong strength here we just have a simple bounce here that we are testing the upper end of our weekly level from and we need to make sure we are careful as you guys can see over on the weekly chart again we have an engulfing candle that we are following we do have again that follow through that we did get now we are testing lows of the year with that rejection to the downside again we could get a possible bounce but overall as you guys can see we are getting rejection on our 50 day moving average looking to see if we can even start to respect our 20 overall so in my opinion until we do get that respect then we do need to make sure we are careful to the upside looking at our overall strength here as you guys can see on the macd again looking for that continuation on decreases in sell pressure is what we're looking for we do have our first white shaded line coming in we are looking for a second one to have a continuation on that decrease in sell pressure for that possible pivot soon to come and that pivot again would be confirmed when we do have our 26 and our 12 crossing back up again this is going to be our confirmation on our pivot for that strength for a bounce or a possible reversal again if we're looking for that strength with that continuation we want to see our 26 and our 12 cross back over the median of our macd very key as you guys can see prior we did cross above the median of our macd we had the strongest rally that we had of the year here so again making sure we are staying focused on this decrease in sell pressure for that early signal on a possible pivot now looking at our ema lines again curling up is an early signal for a possible cross back over in my opinion until we do start to curl back up and we start to get higher lows then in my opinion we don't have as much strength that we would be looking for to get that strength to the upside again making sure we get that cross and looking for that strength is going to be very key here to make sure we get a bounce now looking at our candle structure again we have been talking about two levels we have one here at 370 that we have been looking to see if we can close above we did not close above 370 we closed just below it or just at 370 we are looking to see if we can again continue on above 370 so we have possible room to run to the upside again we have a gap down that we're looking to see if we can continue on past that 374 and then we are looking to see if we can at least jump back into again our prior gap down that we had so again that would be more room to run to the upside however again with our 20 day curling over here this is going to be our resistance that we are looking for so again keeping an eye on this 20 day moving average on the daily chart will be very key because we could get a rejection at that point and that could be that possible setup to the downside again we could get a possible momentum candle to the upside a possible doji candle coming out again closing just above that momentum candle and then possibly closing just below that doji candle to the downside would be that evening star that would be a bearish setup for example again this is just an example of a possible bearish setup if we did bounce back and we did look for that continuation on lower again with a bearish pattern here this is what we would be looking for now as far as the upside again just looking to see if we can jump back above our 20 day moving average even if we do jump back over our 20 we very much will come back and test eventually to possibly get that confirmation on that continuation on higher so again no panic into playing to the upside unless we are playing a very short bounce which again is not as much room to the upside since we do again have our resistance with our 20 curling over here again just making sure we are looking for a setup is going to be very 
break key here as we are sitting within consolidation just above a very key support at lows of the year as our 20 is curling down showing us that bearish momentum and again on the monthly chart we are testing our 50 day moving average here on the monthly chart so we are wondering if we're going to continue on with this bounce if we are going to get a possible pivot here bouncing just off of our 50 day moving average or are we going to possibly continue on lower and possibly test our 200 day weekly moving average which again in my opinion is a stronger support again that would be more likely in my opinion if we did continue on lower is to see if we can test our 200 weekly day moving average prior as you guys can see here again with our pandemic we dropped it just below our 200 day moving average what gave us confirmation is jumping just back out of our 200 day moving average and very simple plays here continuing on higher for the last couple of years now on a pullback here our question is what are we looking for very much keeping an eye on the 200 day moving average very key here guys again if we're looking for longs if we're looking for setups for longs we do want to see if we can at least test our 200 weekly day moving average to see if we can possibly get a bullish setup and bounce out of it again this would be very key for again that confirmation that we're looking for on those swings and longs this is going to be very key here guys and we will definitely know exactly when that happens here on the channel now lastly we want to make sure we are keeping an eye on the dollar again this is the dxy you can watch the uup as well as you guys can see we do have a large engulfing candle getting that rejection to the upside after again we did mention we have large reactions to the upside so we could have a large reaction to the downside and that's exactly what did happen here we got an engulfing candle to the downside so in theory we would be testing our 20 day moving average one last time and that could give us that relief going into tomorrow for that possible continuation intraday again on the s p we could get more strength to the upside if we continue on with this strength and we do test our 20 day however our 20 day is still above our 50 so we need to make sure we are careful again we could test and then possibly continue on higher from here possibly get more momentum candles at the upside and that could be that continuation on lower in the market if we do again continue on with strength here on the dollar breaking into new highs would be more confirmation again with that strength to the downside in the market so again keeping an eye on how much strength we do have here now again with that said if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mention every single day in the instables room go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout like today again and again all of you instables that come over every single day and support the channel again just taking what the market gives us not too many movers after morning rush for the last few days it may continue like that if we continue on with this strength to the downside again looking to see if we can bounce back is going to be very key on the larger time frames to get more strength during the day for intraday plays however with that said we need to make sure we are staying focused on staying consistent and that's exactly what we will continue to do in the instables room staying consistent in this market is the most important thing in my opinion and that's exactly what we will continue to focus on and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in pre-market